Hey, how you doing? You know us, we love to be creative and find solutions for problems. Well, someone said to us, I've got an elemental button, and when I hover over it, I want the words in the button to change. The colour can change as well, but definitely the wording. And it got me stumped. Now, if anyone out there knows how to do this with a bit of code, please do let me know. But I used, well, I did a video the day before where I was showing you how to hover over images. Sorry, no, hover over a column and then images and text can appear. And I reused that code in a different way. So we've got a button there that says click here. When I hover over it, yes, that's it appears. Look, let me just show you it in full screen. Click here. Yes, that's it. The wording has changed and the button's grown a little bit, which is just your normal hover when you hover over a button. But the wording has changed. And look, if I hover around it, nothing happens. Whereas if this button was within a column, if you hovered over here, the wording would change, but you only want it to change when you're over the button. This is super, super simple and easy to do, and I'm gonna do it again below here. So underneath, I've got a section with one column. I'm gonna drop into here a button, like that. Nothing, stand, nothing special going on, and we'll stick it in the center for now. And I'm just going to put this down to be um, old button. You can put a message which says something like click here and then you have enough of a message that appears going, yes, this is what you want. You definitely must click or thank you for clicking or let's go and see our services or something like that. This is going to be the old button. I'm not going to put a link in because technically it's not until the second button that you then click. And I'm probably giving away clues to how we're going to do this. So the old button. I'm just going to increase the sizing of this just so it's a little bit clearer on screen. We'll go with 30 there, okay? You would modify it and, you know, your border radius, your color scheme and all of that. I then go to the advanced tab for the button and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it um, old button like that, okay? So that's the original button. You could call it original button as well if you so want. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, and this is actually important, I'm going to go to positioning. And I'm going to say this is custom because as soon as you do custom, right, the size of that button is now just the button. If you have it as default, that button is filling up all that space to the left and all the space to the right. So you just have to hover here and the button will change, which is not what we want. We only want it to change when you're on the button, not here or here. OK, so we're going to make this be a custom and then going to go to position. Go to absolute, okay, go to um, percent and set it to be zero, zero percent, okay, that means it will be fully in the center, okay, and it's not offset or anything like that. Now, right now, you're going to be looking, in, in fact, you could do it for the vertical as well, both of them are zero, zero. You're looking and going, but it's not in the center, it's still over to the left, yep, yeah, that's because we have to go to our column, okay, go to the horizontal align and set that to be center. That is now in the center, okay? So it, it doesn't matter if we hover anywhere here, it's only when we hover on the button. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that button. And as soon as we duplicate it, the second one is now literally on top of that button automatically, because we've set the positioning. Uh, I would go to your navigator to make sure you are on the second button. I would go over to the text and change it to be, hello, um, web, squadron, or whatever you want to call it, okay? Go to advanced, sorry, go back to your content. This is now where you would put a link to where you want it to go. So I'm going to stick in our website, why not? Okay, or another page or a product or whatever you want to do, because you can use dynamic tags. You go to advanced and you are now going to change the class from old button to new button. So the original is old button, the new button is new button. I am just gonna go into the style actually, and for hover, I'm gonna give this to be a, uh, let's go for a pulse. No, not pulse, I don't like pulse actually. We'll just go for a grow, similar to what I had here. So we've got a bit of a grow function going on. Don't forget, this is all elemental. So if you wanna give it a different color when you hover over it, you can do. And we'll do that for this example. Now we're going to stick some code in. We're going to go to the old button and we're going to go to custom CSS. OK, now, to be honest, you don't need to put any code in here. 
But I am going to put some in because I'm going to show you how we can use this to do something a little bit different with our presentation, okay? So the code we're going to put in, and I'm going to take it from what I did originally, it's this code here. Okay, and let me put it into the new button. Uh, by the way, this code will be in the description, so you don't need to go anywhere else to find it. So this is basically saying, let me just change this to say old button and old button. What this is saying is for the elemental widget button called old button, the opacity is one. It's visible. When you hover over it, the opacity is zero. Now you could argue I don't need to do that because the new button will be in front of it. So I don't need to hide what's behind because the new one is big. But what if the wording in your new button was just hello? Because it's not as big, if you don't set your padding of your button correctly, the orange of the original button would still be visible, which we don't want. But believe me, we're going to do something different later. Okay, cool. So that's what we've done for there. Now let's go to the second button. Let me just get the code for that. And in our new button, the red one, we go to advanced, custom CSS, and we drop that in there. Okay, and this is now the new button. Okay, and you can already see it's disappeared. Because what we're now saying is the new button is invisible, opacity zero. And when you hover over it, opacity one, it will now become visible. So let's just update that. So if I now hover over here, look, in the column, nothing happens, right? But I go over the button, the new button appears. And that is now, you can see the link in the bottom left corner there of the screen. Get my, get my finger right, just down there, okay? That's now got the hyperlink, right? So now we have a almost like a new button, a new wording appearing based on how you're hovering. But I wanna show you something completely different. I'm just gonna duplicate this section, okay? So here you go, this is what I'm talking about. I have a section with an image and I have two buttons, okay? Um, these buttons are called, let me just show you. Here they are. We got but, old button two and new button two. Okay, it's the same terminology. I'm so amazingly scientific, aren't I? But can you see here, the button, right, is overlapping, it appears, but you can still see the one behind. So this is what we have to do. So I've just dropped in a little bit of code. It's um, it's from, from one we used in a video the other day, yesterday. Um, but what it's saying is, um, because we're in the column, we just say selector, new button two, invisible, on hover becomes visible, the old button on um, hover becomes invisible. In fact, I should put this, to, uh, let me just, it's always better to do it in the right order, isn't it? So let me just do it like that. So the old button two is visible and then it becomes invisible. So if I just show you here at the moment, if I update that, you can see the old button, it's got a transparent background. You hover over it, you now get the new button. The thing is though, that because it's on the column, I could, I, to be honest, right, you know, like, um, if this positioning, okay, oops, let me do it correctly. When you go to the button, if you go to the positioning, this is custom. So it's only gonna work on the button, okay? But if you had this as say a default, you could be anywhere in the column. So this is why having it as a custom is quite important. So that's what we had originally, because I'm boring. That's what we've just created. But then look, here's a way of to doing it where you have to now put the code into the column, not on the button, if you want to do it with a transparent background. And, and that's a link. And the button, not only does the button change, the word change and it grows. So quite funky, I think. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Have fun. Be creative. Take care.